Good morning, everyone. Coach Jandy here. So are you riding coattails on someone else's success or the material that they developed? So a couple months ago, I went to a really big uh, seminar. I mean, it was, wasn't really, really big like Tony Robbins. I went to Tony Robbins back in October, but I went to go see this other speaker a few months ago, and I... I was pissed. I'm just going to tell you. I was like, oh my gosh, this person has ripped off almost everything that Tony Robbins does. Now, his content was different because it was a different audience, but every activity, the music, what he wore, his power move, I mean, everything was exactly the same. <laughs> and I'm watching this just having come back, you know, from from a few months ago of watching Tony Robbins and it really pissed me off for, for Tony, you know, and, um, but it also hurt me for this guy because he's really, really talented and he's really famous. And I'm thinking, how does Tony Robbins not know that this guy is so ripping him off? And I'm sure that he probably does. But to me, it's like, I want to be an original. You know, we each have our own gifting. So why would you want to ride the coattails of someone else? Now, uh, you know, I'm a coach. I've been a coach for many, many years and I've written several books and have done a lot of stuff. And I always try to make it my own, you know? And, uh, you know, and there's bumps and valleys along the way and discovering what that is. But, you know, I've had other coaches, other speakers, other professionals try to ride my coattails, you know, and trying to tag on to what I'm doing to boost, you know, what it is that they're doing. Now, that's a compliment, you know, I know that, uh, but it's just, it hurts me for them because I, I want everybody to be original because you have your own gift, you have your own thing to provide the world. And so I would take a look at who are you? What is it that you want to convey to the world? If you struggle with creativity in your own life, with your own self product, whatever that is, whether it's your company or your speaking or a book that you're wanting to write or whatever, you know, maybe work with somebody to bring those ideas out. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Um, I know that there's that comment of there's not an original idea because they're, they've all been taken already. Um, I call horseshit on that. Just going to be honest. So uh, there's lots of great new ideas out there. And then are there similar ideas? Absolutely. Have I ever taken ideas from someone else and made them my own? Absolutely. But I make it so different. Like I, I look at it, I try to analyze it and really turn it into what it means for me. I don't just copy it or try to ride somebody's coattails. Okay. So which can look like, you know, going around and trying to, uh, you know, uh, get on to that person's um, wagon, you know, of, of speaking or coaching or commenting or whatever it is, you know, you know what I'm saying. So a lot of times people will just take materials that are somebody else's and just duplicate them off. So use your life. I mean, that's, you know, God provides us this life and all these lessons, you know, and I know for myself, it's like I've had lots of bumps and valleys in my life and I use those stories. That's some of the best material that you have is what you've gone through. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. You know, I know a lot of people are afraid to tell on themselves, you know, and it's one of the things why I think I've been successful is because I gut myself. You know, I tell you, and you all know, I will tell you straight up, hey, I've done this crazy crap, you know, or I've made this stupid mistake, or I've done this. You know, there is no coach, there's no therapist, there's no professional or even pastor out there that hasn't done something or isn't doing something that they shouldn't be doing. The key is is are they learning from it and then turning it into something that can be used for other people. So one of the best, most original ways that you can create something to put back out there instead of riding on somebody else's coattails is to use your personal life, okay? And nobody, here's what, what people say, but I'm scared that they're going to judge me or that, you know, they're going to use it against me. They can't use it against you if unless you allow them. So don't be scared of that. I put everything out there. There's not anything that isn't in a book or a video or something. Nobody has any power over me unless I give it to you. And I'm not going to give it to you. 
<laughs> so that's what I have. Go be original, okay? So check me out at CoachJandy.com and also under YouTube. Got lots of these videos. Please share out. Appreciate you guys and have a good one. Bye.